Today we are going to make a clay pencil holder. We're going to do this using the coil method technique. But first you're going to get a tray and you're going to write your name in Sharpie on the tray. It needs to be in Sharpie. So write your name and your class code. I'm just going to leave that blank because I'm not in a class. But you write your class code. Then you're going to get a piece of fabric. And this piece of fabric has been cut so that it will wrap around this cardboard tube. Carefully wrap that around on the edge of the car of the fabric and then push all that extra into the tube and that will lock that fabric into place. This will keep the clay from sticking onto the cardboard tube. Now only use fabric if you plan on getting done in one day. Otherwise use a plastic and wrap your cardboard tube in a plastic so that it can uh, be saved for the next week or for the next day. Next, you're going to get a large chunk of clay. And when you get that large chunk of clay, you're going to roll it into a ball. And you do this by rolling it in your hands, kind of like if you had a baseball that you were just rolling around in your hands. Lay out your towel placemat, and you can push the ball onto the towel, but not onto the table. Then slap that between your two hands to flatten it out and make it bigger. Once it is big enough that it's got an edge all the way around your cardboard tube, you're ready to lay it down on your tray. That's going to be the base. You do need to have a border all the way around your cardboard tube. Set that off to the side. Then you're going to get smaller pieces of clay, and these are going to become your coils. Now squeeze it like a slug, just squeeze it in your hand, and roll it out. Now sometimes people will just roll like back and forth, back and forth without going all the way out. And then what ends up happening is they just kind of get this flat thump thump shape. You don't want that. You want a nice coil. So roll it all the way out and all the way back. And your hand should be spreading out as you go. You don't want it to break in the middle. People will have it break in the middle when they only keep their hands in the middle. So see, I'm keeping my hands in the middle and then of course it breaks just like that. Instead, what you want to do is you want to roll it so that you spread your hands out as you go. So again, I squeeze it a little bit and then I start rolling it and then see how my hands go out towards the edges as I roll it out. Now you want this to be about as thick as your Sharpie. So I take my Sharpie and I'm going to measure it and make sure it's about that thick. Yep, it's about that thick. Then you're going to get your towel out because you do not want your table to become wet. And you're going to use this special kind of bristle brush. It's a wire bristle brush, kind of looks like a toothbrush for robots. And you just scrape it along with a little bit of water on that brush and that scores and, and slips your clay together. It opens up the clay and water is used as the glue and you have to have those score marks in order for the clay to be put together. So you're also going to score by just scraping. You're going to scrape this circle, put your tube back on, put the scraped side so that it wraps around and touches the other scraped side. Let me show you again how I do this. All right, so I'm going to show you once again how you wrap it around you want to make sure it touches that border around, touches the scraped sides together and wraps around. And you want to push it down very gently just to make sure there's no gaps in between your coils. And then you make another coil and scrape the surfaces and wrap it around. And you do that again and again and again and again. Okay, I'm going to fast forward real fast now so you can see how I build up this coil pot. So squeeze, roll it out. Roll it out. See, I'm moving my hands from the center going to the edge till it's about as thick as my Sharpie. Get my towel because I do not want a wet uh, table because it will make everything stick and be awful. Scrape, scrape, scrape with the water. Scrape the water on. Scrape, scrape, scrape. That's how we use clay glue. Line it right up with the edge that was left so that there's no gaps. 
gently push it down so there's no gap. See, I'm gently pushing that down, not smashing it down, just gently. And then I do that over and over again until I have um, gone all the way to the top of my cardboard tube. All right, so here's a little different view I want to show you because after you get uh, it all built up, you want to smooth it out because you don't want it to look like a coil pot, um, although it will on the inside a little bit. Uh, you want to smooth it out so that we can paint it, we can decorate it, and it looks like a coffee mug. And to do that is you just get a little wet and you just um, smooth it out with your fingers or your thumb, whatever's more comfortable, so that there's no coils. You can go back and forth horizontally or up and down vertically, um, however you like to do it. It will stick to your styrofoam, so you can um, hold it very carefully. See, I'm holding it. It's more comfortable to hold it for me upside down like this, which is fine um, so long as you are careful. And you don't have to apply a lot of pressure, but uh, you do have to apply some pressure uh, to get those coils smoothed out. You also don't want to drench your um, your clay pot with water. You just want to add enough water to be able to easily smooth it out. And you want and you want to make sure that there is no rough spots. Um, get the top, get the sides, smooth out any fingerprints that you left. Do a really good job because this is really going to be um, how it looks good. Then take your towel and just wipe off all the extra clay with your towel. We're not going to spend a lot of time at the sink. The last thing is to get this edging that's at the bottom. We're just using, you can use a pin tool or we're just going to use a paper clip that I've unrolled. And you get the top there and then see how I'm using it horizontally to get uh, the top and the bottom. So just cutting off that extra and smoothing it out and then it will dry um, and come off uh, easily. The last step is to add the handle. You're going to get one last piece and you're going to roll it out, but you're going to roll it out so that it's nice and thick. You're not going to roll it out as thin. And it, you can go ahead and have it be um, flatter. Then you roll it into uh, a question mark like this, because that's how a handle is. A lot of people think it's more like a C, um, and that's how you experience it, but the way you sculpt it is actually more like a question mark or half of a heart. Score it really well, making sure you get plenty of moisture on there. Score the other side where you're going to put the handle. Now because these are score marks, when they dry and when they fire, um, if you leave them like that, they will be sharp and rough. So be sure you smooth everything out really well. Anything that is sharp and rough um, with this wet clay will be very, very sharp. Um, once it is fired. So be sure to smooth out any of those score marks so you don't see or feel any of them. Get that handle exactly the way you want it. And we're almost done here. All right, and then you're going to take a paper clip and unwrap it and you can use the, um, the loop there and that will kind of scoop the clay away but be careful you don't cut too much into the clay 
or you can use the point of that paper clip and just cut it away and smooth it away with your finger. Once you have everything on the outside nice and smoothed down, it's time to start um, working on the inside. Now the clay is going to be very soft and weak when you take out that form. Dry off your hands, carefully unwrap the plastic, carefully pull out the tube, and if you want the teacher to do that, that would be fine. Carefully pull out, carefully and gently pull out the plastic. Now as you can see that plastic has left some score marks and there might be score marks in there from um, your original scoring. So we're going to need to smooth that out and your fingers and your hands might be a little too short to get in there to really smooth it out. So I have made this tool here out of um, an empty marker. I took all the stuff out of the marker and I put a sponge in it. Just dip that in water a little bit and just gently smooth out the bottom there. You don't need a lot of water. You don't need much water at all. You don't want it to get too watery. And if you get too much water in there, you can squeeze the water out of the sponge and soak it up um, from the bottom of your mug. You're also going to want to smooth out the lip of the cup, the very top of the cup. If you've got any jaggedies there, just smooth that out with that sponge or with your finger so that everything is nice and smooth and ready for the kiln. We're going to let this dry and then we will fire it and next week I will show you how we will glaze it.